say fight for peace. I've tried both sides of that. To really amass a successful team of people to solve any kind of conflict, big and small, we really need to be creative and to find a lot of partners in looking at how can we join our expertise together to solve these problems. Are we peacemakers or are we combatants? Do we accept the word of the combatants and excuse their actions? Um, and now we'd like to ask you a few questions about the United World Colleges movement and conflict resolution in education. You can use your own situation to learn and you can project that on the world setting. 16 to 19, that means you have three years. Start on day one. After three years, you will be conflict specialists. And you will be a gift to the world. And you will keep your flame not flickering, but clearly illuminating the world. From Cardiff. <laughs> <laughs> the Cardiff light will be shining. And the castle will have become, as it is becoming, a symbol of peace. It was not a symbol of peace in the old days. It was a symbol of direct and structural violence. Tonight we're still continuing, it just goes on and on. And, and peace and conflict never ends in that sense. Uh, something we've learned from uh, Johan Galtung is that it's a dynamic process, it's a cycle. So it will also go on and on here, also our search for peace. <laughs>